Yo, what's the word, gang? So, you got this whole Diddy situation. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people saying Stevie J name, man. They putting Stevie J on the scene. They saying he cooked right along with Diddy. You know what I'm saying? Mimi just came out, said that they had a show planned on BET, but it didn't fall through because his relationship with Diddy. So, we know these things, right? But um, I had WAC 100 and I was able to ask him and, you know, he gave me a whole answer on do he think Stevie J is involved in regards to being a cooperant on this case. You know what I'm saying? Y'all get in the comments and y'all let me know what y'all think. But um, I'm going to get to this footage. Gang. Nah, he, Stevie J. You know, that's how Stevie J got famous. He used to replay, you know, all the samples and shit for for Diddy. You had Stevie J for Diddy, and there was a man named E.P. that did it on the other side for us and everybody else. He run the furnace band out of L.A. They replay anything when we couldn't clear it. Um, they've been close too long. I can't see Stevie J lying and puff up like that. I, I can't see it. Um, now they telling me Stevie J had a case. I don't know nothing about that. You know, I didn't see Stevie J has some it is, though, because a lot of people, like, the people that's giving a little backlash on, like, okay, Stevie J, all right, that's cool. But what did Stevie J do or what case he got to be relevant to him telling on Diddy? But then people would say that he could be involved and they went to question him about his involvement because he was going to go down to well, you know, when them niggas is telling, they get them niggas immunity to do they telling. So, that's that's why they tell real good. You know, um, I, I just really think, bro, you know, you can't pass out drugs at a party. You just can't do it, even though they voluntarily using it. Because once you do that and they end up in the back room, then they can say at that point in time, I wasn't in control of self. Where you get the drugs from, he passed them out. You know what I'm saying? Like, his whole setup, he thought because it was his mansion, my crowd, I could do what I want to do. And that just ain't how this shit work, bro. Hey, bro, but what's crazy is, is that how the feds, they hold, like, you know, like, YSL Woody, they say that he opened up uh, Young Thug case. And then on the Diddy shit, they say Cassie woke up the case against uh, Diddy. And then you got Lil Rock, you know what I'm saying? So Lil Rock, he's been pretty much quiet today. You think that he could be a potential witness? Oh, they definitely gonna call him as a witness. What did he see? The environment? What was in the studio? Did you see guns? You stayed at the house? Did he give you drugs? Did he uh, try to coerce you into doing sexual acts? All that. Hey, bro, what you think is different from this generation? Well, I wouldn't even say generation, but just this year. Because it's all pretty much these people are old. You know what I'm saying? Like, Let me ask you this, bro. Oh. Whack like cars. You know, a lot of people ain't spoke on this this particular uh, subject, but like his financial situation. So when the cash stuff first hit, that that liquor company, you know what I'm saying? They the party ways. I guess they paid him out, with that, right? Yeah, they paid him out. Then, yeah. Um, revolt, same thing. He got his shares out of there. You know what I'm saying? Before, you know, because right now, yeah, these companies, they stop the party for them, right? Um, I mean, but, you know, the way people set up, they there, they just ain't there as they, as, as themselves. You know, a nigga have a, uh, a, a, a shell company that's, oh, that's in control of a trust, right? That's controlling the LLC or the S or the C Corp, right? So it will be like three layers of some shit that's them and you don't even know it. He there, he, he. Shit, I ain't seen Twitter fall. He got stock in X. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, ain't no telling where he got shit at, what hotel chains. You know, he, he probably still about 400 million liquid, at least. At least 400 you know, million liquid. That means that he can At least 400 million liquid and probably another, probably another 
four, five in assets and and probably another two, three and just residual businesses and shit. You know what I mean? So he he straight if he's smart, he down he downsized by forty percent right now and, 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 and float. People were saying that, like, with these, these sex workers, so, like, is there any chance that if these sex workers come on the stand, is that going to hurt Diddy or help him? Well, you got to remember, bro, you got to pull up the sex worker definition, which is the White Slavery Man Act, 1910, right? It don't matter what they say. Actually, if they say the wrong thing, it's going to look even bad, bad, worse on it. You know, you fly a motherfucker in, transport a motherfucker to you for the reasons it means to have sex, distribute drugs to him, any of that shit. That's, that's that. Legally, by the book. Not by what we say. Yeah, definitely. But by the book. Yeah, by the book, that's that. That he got it. Like, what's your thoughts on it? Like, just seeing what everybody else see right now. Do you think he got a chance to beat this case? Because that's the biggest thing that everybody pretty much want to know. Will he like be acquitted of these charges? The scary part about it is, all the charges ain't even there yet. The possession of the firearm ain't there. Drug trafficking ain't there. Some shit ain't there. That white boy they call for to get on his jet. What you think happens when they say, "Have you ever, have you ever flown on Diddy's jet with the drugs?" Cause he told you to, and he said, "Yeah." Well, where'd y'all fly to? L.A., Atlanta, New York. The AR-15 they found with the shaved numbers. They say they found a gun under the nigga pillow. I don't know. Was it Prince on it? So, you know, he looking at some time, bro. But you all know. Nigga be 55 in November, bro. And then a lot of people keep comparing this to the R. Kelly situation. Like, how does it, how does it really relate to you when it comes to R. Kelly and R. Diddy? Can you relate these two? These two cases? Well, I, I think, um... Diddy's situation is a little worse than R. Kelly's situation because I don't think R. Kelly had no visuals whooping a motherfucker like that. They already, listen, me don't remember when I told you, I said, Chuck, you know what they just did, right? With that video, you said, what, whack? I said, the jury is somewhere in the world right now. They just tainted their minds. Yeah, you did tell me that. Remember, I, told, I said the jury is somewhere in the world right now, bro. So whoever get picked on that jury, they've already seen it. You can't make them unsee it. You get what I'm saying? So when you put that with all this other shit, Cassie getting up there doing her one two, crying and tripling and telling her stories, Lord forbid they pop up with some Kim Porter reports or 911 calls from 25 years ago saying some shit that'll turn his kids against him. Yo, it's gonna be some shit. Yeah, I want to talk about two things the bond, but then you just mentioned uh, Cassie. So, like, when it comes to her, the lawyer said that they got a uh, court phone call of her hitting up Diddy asking him to buy her a book right, you know, to tell all stories prior to yeah. filing the lawsuit. Like, yeah, that can help him? Like, that's why he mentioned it? No, because there's nothing wrong with that. When I sold Suge book rights, I called a man named Zachariah Ali from Philly and said, yo, I'm trying to move Suge book rights. Are you interested? He said, I'm going to fly out in two days and talk to you about it. Business is business. Can I ask this? Can Cassie testify being that she's already does did he have her sign something like yeah that's civil though federal law gonna supersede civil if they call as a witness she cannot she can't tell them i got a 
NDA over here for some civil money. She got to get on the stand. Well, she don't have to, but I believe she's going to choose. I believe she's going to hit the stand. Like, hey, what? I don't know if you heard about folks get to the buns. Like, I'm going to get to the bun, but Stevie J, bro. Like, people bringing up Stevie J name right now. They saying he was in form I don't believe that. Yeah. You don't believe it? Nah, he Stevie J. You know, that's how Stevie J got famous. He used to replay, you know, all the samples and shit for, for Diddy. You had Stevie J for Diddy, and there was a man named E.P. that did it on the other side for us and everybody else. He run the furnace band out of L.A. They replay anything when we couldn't clear it. Uh, they've been close too long. I can't see Stevie J lying and puff up like that. I, I can't see it. Um, now they telling me Stevie J had a case. I don't know nothing about that. I don't, you know, I didn't see Stevie J had some it is, though, man. because a lot of people, like the people that's giving a little backlash on, like, okay, Stevie J, all right, that's cool. But what did Stevie J do, or what case he got to be relevant to him telling on Diddy? But then people would say that he could be involved, and they went to question him about his involvement because he was going to go down to Well, you know, when them niggas is telling, they get them niggas immunity to do they telling. That's that's why they tell real good, you know. Um, I I just really think, bro. You know, you can't pass out drugs at a party. You just can't do it, even though they voluntarily using it. Because once you do that, and they end up in the back room, then they can say at that point in time, I wasn't in control of self. Where you get the drugs from? He passed them out. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, his whole setup, he thought because it was his mansion, my crowd, I could do what I want to do. And that just ain't how this shit work, bro. Hey, bro, but what's crazy is, is that how the feds, they hold, like, you know, like, why sell Woody, they say that he opened up uh, Young Thug case. And then on the Diddy shit, they say Cassie woke up the case against uh, Diddy. And then you got Lil Rock, you know what I'm saying? So Lil Rock, he's been pretty much quiet today. You think that he could be a potential witness? Oh, they definitely gonna call him as a witness. What did he see? The environment? What was in the studio? Did you see guns? You stayed at the house? Did he give you drugs? Did he uh, try to coerce you into doing sexual acts? All that. Hey, bro, what you think is different from this generation? Well, I wouldn't even say generation, but just this year. Because it's all pretty much these people are old. 